and more condemnation coming from the Christian community. The Lutheran Church of Christ in Nigeria, LCCN, has berated the APC for flying a Muslim-Muslim presidential ticket, saying it is irresponsible of the party to take its political survival over the stability and peace of Nigeria and the well-being of the citizenry. Regrettably, our nation today is marked by laments rather than the joyful expectations with which the government was welcomed. What we are witnessing today is that of politics of exclusion and nepotism in government uh, in, and in order of the, as the order of the day. In Nigeria today, the issue of insecurity is worrisome and the worst ever in recent history. Citizens and residents now live in fear and anxiety for their safety and lives. The insecurity situation in the nation remains a major concern for all. Unfortunately, bandits now have the courage to threaten to attack and kidnap the president and commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is inconceivable. What gives them the audacity to contemplate such actions? We are not only worried that the government seems not to be on top of the situation, but also concerned that it appears the government that has the constitutional mandate to ensure the safety of its citizens is helpless in the face of such unprecedented insecurity situation that has befallen the nation. Reverend Pansi Philibus asked the federal government to rise to its responsibility of arresting and prosecuting those terrorizing innocent Nigerians rather than play the ostrich on matters of insecurity. We are still waking from the shock of the attacks and kidnapping of passengers on Abuja Kaduna railways. Then the attack on Kuja prisons, where members of the notorious violent extremist group escaped and still at large. We are deeply saddened by recent videos of victims of kidnaps being tortured in the most inhuman way by their captors. This indeed is a sad episode to remember that calls for the most urgent action from the government. We further hear of kidnapping of persons in their homes on a daily basis, and most recent, the attack on the presidential guards and rumors that the bandits are striking position to the federal capital territory. Painfully, this is the situation we have found ourselves in Nigeria today. Further regrettable, the cases of corruption in public offices are not only increasing but worsening by the day. We hear and read of billions of naira being stolen by people in position of trust. The greed level in our country is extremely high. Otherwise, why will an individual siphon public funds worth billions and still feel okay? How? Funds meant for pensioners, the vulnerable, and others are stolen by those with privileged positions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.